Mm, let me check the store. Ooh. Dex is going to be happy about this one. What's going on, guys? It's Cotton. And today we're going to be taking our game from looking like this into looking like this. Now, this is a custom config. I've had a couple people saying they want to know how I make my game look so, like, bright, I guess. Like, in-game, you can see it looks like it's daytime. Um, now, there's a couple reasons why you'd want to do this. It makes the game just run better. It gets better frames. It helps optimize everything so that way you don't get like it. And we all know. I'm in love with Blood Hunt. This game is unoptimized. The, the, all the people complaining about the game is just about how laggy it is. And I'm running a 2080 and I'm pulling 80 frames in a fight. The game is just unoptimized. So it's going to help the game run better overall, right? We'll go to my graphic settings just real quick. Run down through this. Um, full screen. Resolution 1920 by 1080, enable VSync off, frame rate I have it unlimited. Uh, I could set it to 240, but I don't get 240 frames in this game consistently. So, like, I, I set to unlimited. I sit in between, like, the 160 to 200 range. And in fights, I'm, like, 120 to 160 range. So, frame rate smoothing off, brightness is at a 1. DirectX 12 off, because every engine right now is built on DirectX 11, because DirectX 12 is new. So, I'd recommend DirectX 11. This is better optimized overall. Resolution scale is at 100. If you lower this, it makes your game look blurrier. This is a thing like for FPS games people use to make hitboxes look bigger. But in a game like this, see it, how everything looks a little like blurry? You don't need it. Make sure brightness is at a 1, by the way. This is like crucial. Advanced. We're having custom. Low. 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 4. Low off. Low off. Off. Uh, everything's off. Like is it some sent all the way down. Everything is low and or off. Texture filtering, I keep it at a four. That's because I used to have it at PUBG. It just always worked for me. And then down, film grain off, chromatic aberration off, bloom, lens flare, light shafts off. Not all of it off, everything. Just trying to make the game run as smoothly as possible because it's just unoptimized, right? The game is a, I don't want to say mess, but like, you know, and it can't, and anyways, right? I have two things going on to make my game look like this. I have a custom config and I use a program called Reshade. Reshade makes my game go from what it looks like right now to this. And this is all in real time. I can move around. I have a keybind set to it. So I can move around. It adds a little more color, a little more sharpness, makes the shadows not as dark. And you can see this is it right here. I just brought it up on screen. I have it DVD colors because I used to use this for Dead by Daylight. But I also have it changed around for this game. So that way it's not like in Dead by Daylight because in Dead by Daylight you use it for the killers. Anyways, different game. So you can see, if you guys want me to make a description going in on all my settings here to change the, like every little thing about the game that I wanted to change, you can see that. it's I have SMA, Ambient Light, Bloom Lens Fair, Luma Sharpen, Colorfulness, and Technicolor 2 are the six things I use. And I have all the custom settings. So if you guys want me to just a quick little video, just scrolling down through these, show you guys how to install Reshade, how to get it to work, how to get this pop up. You know what I mean? How to set the binds to get it all done. I can make another tutorial on that. But this one's going to be for the config. The custom config inside your game files. So with that being said, I'm going to hop over to the desktop. We're going to close out Blood Hunt and you're going to follow along. We're going to get into what you need to do when you get to your desktop. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the description of this video and click on the paste bin I have below. And don't worry if it says there's any malware or anything. If it asks for your email or your social security number, just enter all of that. Trust me, it's fine. First thing you want to do is make sure you have this open. I'm going to put the link in the description. This is to the paste bin files of the config we're going to be using. You're going to want to go down, click on your little search in the bottom. And what we're going to type in is percent, which is shift five. App data percent. We're going to load it up the file. Then you can see at the top heading where it has this PC local disk user user app data roaming. We're going to click on app data. After app data, we're going to click local. Double click on local. We're going to go down, scroll all the way to the bottom until you see Tiger. This is like the engine it's gone behind, like or the file name. So we're going to click double click Tiger, double click saved, double click config, double click Windows no editor. And now this is the files that we're going to be changing. So when you get here, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to game user settings. Right click on game user settings, hit properties, check off read only. Hit apply. Hit OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open the game user settings. This is the config. So what you're going to do when you open up this config, you're going to click somewhere in it. You're going to hit Control A to highlight everything. 
you're going to hit delete to get rid of everything. Now, after that is done, you can bring over or like, you know, bring up the paste bin that I've linked in the description. And you can see gamer user settings dot any replace everything with everything here. So we're going to full screen it. We're going to highlight right before the first bracket. And we're going to go all the way down until we see preference game files false or equals false. We're going to hit control C to copy it. Then we can take the paste bin back over or minimize it if you don't have two monitors. Then you can see game user settings notepad. Control V. And now it's all in the notepad. All the settings that we want to be in the notepad. And just like that, you hit file, save, close that. And then you want to hit game user settings, properties. Make sure you check read only after you put the files there. So you want to make sure you look at the files. Make sure you have it all there from the paste bin. Hit file, save, close that out. Game user settings, properties. Or you want to right click on game user settings, properties, read only, apply, OK. The reason why you are turning on read only, what that means is that the files will not get changed. Say if there's something in the files that the game doesn't want or the game won't allow, when you, if you don't check read only, when you load the game up, it's going to default back to its basic settings. So read only makes it where it will not do that and the settings will always stay the same. That's why you want to have read only checked. Okay, next thing we're going to go to is our engine files. So you left click it once, then right click it. Properties, make sure read only is off, hit apply, hit OK. Then we're going to double click on engine. You can see the entire file is here. Now, this is, I already have the custom config for this one, but I'm still going to do it just to show you guys what to do. So once again, you hit control A, get rid of everything, bring up the paste bin. Now you're going to scroll down the paste bin until you see open engine.any and add this after core system. So for, uh, first off, we're going to just grab everything, go all the way down to the bottom, control C to copy it. We can move the paste button back over to the side. Then we're going to go to our engine notepad, control V to paste it all there. Then after pasting everything there, we're going to go right before the first bracket. We're going to hit enter on it twice. We're going to click on the top and we're going to do the hard bracket, like the, you know, the one with the 90 degree angles to edge bracket, not the bent bracket. And you're going to type in core dot system close hard bracket. And now that's all the settings for our engine file. We're going to hit file once again, save. We're going to close it. Then we're going to come back to engine, left click on it, properties, read only. Apply. Is it okay? And then if you want to, you can go back at them both. You can hit game user settings, double click on it. You can look, see how the files are saved. Make sure read only is on on both the files. Yep, it's on. Same thing with engine. Double click, make sure the file is there. Everything is the same exact what it is in the paste bin. So you can close it, left click on it once, make sure, or then right click, and then make sure that you have read only turned on. Hit okay. And just like that, you have the custom config. And I'll see you guys in back in the game. Okay, so after we load up Blood Hunt, you want to make sure when you go to your file settings, your like graphics, make sure brightness is at 100%. Because when you load up the game and it's at the default of 50, this is what your game is going to look like. And if you don't have the shaders on like I have, this is what your game is going to look like. And everything is going to be really dark and you're going to like load it up and you're going to freak out and be like, bro, this is not what it's supposed to look like. You have to go to your settings, put your brightness up to one, max it out. And this is how it's going to look like. The Elysium is going to look weird. It's because the shadows and the shading in the Elysium are weird. So there's like nothing you can really do to stop that from happening. So it is what it is. Obviously, I play with my custom reshaders on to make the game look slightly nicer for me. Right? It's just something I like. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist with things. So, like, I wanted that little bit of extra brightness and, sh and like, sharpness that you wouldn't get anyways. Because I feel like it helps me see people. So, that's the custom config. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for the custom config. Well, I know how I do it, how it's done. And, like I said, the benefits, it just makes your game run better. It's just, the game is not optimized right now. 
this would make a world of difference in gunfights. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in positions where I'm trying to beam people and my game's stuttering. It doesn't happen nowhere near as often with this. So if you guys want a separate video on this, I'll make another like three, four, or five minute short tutorial on reshade. Talk about it, explain how to set everything up, and that way you guys can get your game to look a little nicer. So that's it today, guys. I'm Khan. Much love.